Yo, what's going on y'all? I'm back. I'm about a half a mile from Lester's. Um, I gotta go see him about, you know, some money, of course. But, I cannot wait until I meet Trevor. Trevor, oh man, I know he is going to be the person that makes or breaks this series. Like, for them to hold him off, you know, for so long, and I've done probably about what? eight missions already um including some side stuff so you know trevor must make or break this game but let me go see lester about a dog real quick i still got these flip-flops on i know guys i know hold up that's not where lester lives i'm about to break and entering You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. <sighs> well, I guess the door's open. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done, you need to know something, so why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. No, I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone that instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> since you put it like that. Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes, that fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this, uh... Fashionably retro weird for a 45 year old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. Oh my, he's worked up in a crazy sweat. He's perspirating, he has asthma, and he's sitting down. It's crazy. What is the world coming to? Got guys sitting behind a computer, about to lose their lives. Lung capacity is short. Yeah, that's what I do. I give no fucks. Oh yeah. All right, mile and a half almost, okay. At least I get to get on the highway. Move the hell out of my way, bitch. I beat my horn. How do you guys like this car I'm riding in? What does it remind you of? Haha. <laughs> ah, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Gotta get to the offering. Excuse me. Thank you, thank you. Move out the way. Watch I hit this van. I know I'm gonna hit it. Alright. At least I didn't hit it. Oh, come on. You're just gonna come in my lane, though? That's what we doing? Should've got our shot her in the face. Uh-huh. 
Oh! Shit! I let off one gunshot and everybody leaving. Excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Huh? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. All right, let me check out the lay. You know, I got swag. Hell to the no. I look terrible. Mm -mm. That looks horrible. Um. No coat. I can't get a fluffy coat. Uh-oh, they got jerseys. Oh, yeah, baby. Wow. Still got sandals on, though. How about a hoodie? Hoodie might do me some justice. Not at all. I got too much style for these clothes. All right, I think I'm gonna rock with that. No, way too sex predator. No? Okay. So I, I, ha I guess I have to wear this geeky stuff. All right, I'll put this on. I need some suitable Let's shorts. Bye now. I got to match. I can't. I can't go to the interview not matching. I guess that's it. That's all I can purchase. Okay, thank you. Now I'm not matching. Red light. Got a body. Oh shit. Don't scream. I'm riding in that big dog. That big dog. Hold up. Michael. I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. All right. Now I just gotta act like a nerd. That shouldn't be hard. <laughs> I'm a nerd. I could be a nerd. My GPA is higher than your credit score. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what I do. I drop stuff off in the back. Okay, rear entrance. Let's see. Hey. Hey. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality, <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh my, you know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. 
you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks bad up, so... Wait a minute. <laughs> you know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I T-temp, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's you me. Know? You gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boys vest. Maybe not even... Yoga zone? Sweat lodge? Even evangelizing. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a. This is a filthy hard drive, bro. Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Okay. Rocking out might get you in the right headspace. My son probably wrote this. A little shitbag. <laughs> and we scan. Wow, your job is actually kind of stressful too, ain't it? These hacker kids always come up with a new way to screw the network in the ass. I need to block one of those pop-ups. Cause my hands are free. <laughs> Scanning. My glitch fixing is gonna be way down today. <laughs> hmm. And that should do it. Cool. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? I hope I got that done in like 30 seconds. Probably took me two minutes. When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. All right. I still can't run. I'm in stealth mode. The amount of personal data the sheep are giving up. Uh-oh. Didn't let me in here. Oh, nice. I'm scared. I forgot my book bag. I can't get it? No? Making history, dude. You hey, and we mean, couldn't do it dude. without the little guys. Yes, sir. Bye. Peace. Sit, 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 sit. Book bag, dig fast. Oh! Ow! Whoa, buddy. Come on. You're gonna have to learn the book bag if you want to get a job here. Okay, follow me. Okay. And I'm going right out the back. Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk. There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it. All right, I'm at the home stretch, y'all. And I'm done. My car is still there. Yep. Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Doomed! I doomed ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. And hey, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. 
Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey. I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, whatever you say. Enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. All right, cool. So that's that. I'm not even going to park it in the garage because I have no space. Gonna go in the crib, find the TV. For shame. The winner gets one million dollars and two million. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame! Out. No! I'm watching Famer Shame! Oh, fucking tits! No! Give it up! Oh god. Mime's on fire. Alright, let's watch this Apple keynote. Because if you I never heard nobody else say keynote besides Apple. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Uh oh. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. All right, I'm waiting. Today, you're about to witness a new phase full on weapons grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years. That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary. Whatever that means. Peak pride populate. <laughs> <laughs> Live on Weasel News. The next step. Prepare to witness the future. Whoa. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24 7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked in at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. Oh, Jay Norris. We went to the go oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Oh! Woo! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, no, no. Whoa! That's crazy. Lester is the man. Clearly, he's the man. Well, that's done. Ah, oh, man. It took me 16 minutes to do this darn mission. I suck. Well, at least I passed the mission. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode. I'll be out with the next episode soon enough. I'm breezing through this game, man. Um, I'm doing what I need to do. Uh-oh, uh I'm dialing Lester. Hold on. <laughs> Lester! That was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. All right, he told me to go put on a suit, so let's see what I have in my wardrobe. Well, I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. This is IKC signing out. Peace. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.